up big time well do not trust weather apps and yeah just do things one day ahead because today was supposed to be zero degrees not minuses but it turns out that it was yesterday night that we had some sort of frost I did wake up like really early, early in the morning and there was absolutely no frost at all and I was like happy about it because you know today we're actually supposed to harvest everything long story short our pumpkins and zucchinis up there froze tiny bit though not about it well I wouldn't say tiny bit there's some pumpkins that I have like fully frozen on one side and the annoying thing is that it could have been avoided by just harvesting them yesterday but I don't know I trusted that yesterday it said three or five three degrees and today it said zero degrees which is still not minuses well it is what it is so welcome to a new video I didn't even say good morning and welcome but yeah welcome to a new video and in this video we are gonna obviously harvest the pumpkins okay so for example this one's the worst one you can see the color difference so this one is going to be today's meal, it's going to become a pumpkin soup. It is what it is, we're going to harvest them all. I think that out of like 30, 20, 30 or 25 pumpkins I think I had counted, only 5 of them got hit really hard. The other ones we're going to keep inside and keep an eye on and uh, yeah, see how they are transforming and if they are getting bad we're either going to eat them fast or of course give them to goats and chickens, so yeah. Nothing goes to waste in a homestead with animals. So yeah, let's get started. Harvest the pumpkins. And also, what else froze was the cabbages. But those, my mom said that in Germany, they specifically wait for the first light frost so they get, I guess, sweeter or something. So that is okay, because anyways, it's like the first one or two leaves that froze. Nothing bad. And we're also gonna collect the beetroot because I'm not gonna risk it and I'm getting frozen because they are sticking out a bit on top so we're rather gonna harvest it so yeah we're gonna harvest three things and we're gonna see if we're also gonna have time to harvest pedicil otherwise we're gonna cover it for tonight but actually before we get to harvesting the pumpkins I am so thankful and glad to myself that yesterday we at least harvested the watermelon so you're gonna see those clips and then we're gonna move to the pumpkin patch Why I didn't harvest them like earlier is because some of them are still green so I was waiting for the last minute because tonight was supposed to be just zero degrees and then for like another two weeks no frost so that's why I wanted to leave them but uh, yeah it is what it is yeah I'll get ready inside How did those roll watermelons? <laughs> So we collected all the pumpkins that was quite a quite a few of them i did not count them i'm gonna count them when we bring them inside but before the light leaves i actually want to do all the garden work way earlier but we caught carried away with renovation inside which you can see in our main channel if you're not subscribed over there already uh, so yeah let's now harvest the cabbages <laughs> 
Let's see, let's see. Just take it down and then... Scissors is quite of a game changer. Yeah. Just careful not to cut it in the ground. Well, that is a cabbage head. <laughs> what was that? That is the biggest cabbage we have ever gotten. That is Megatrons. That's a Megatrons. They are actually called the brand of these cabbages. They are called Megatrons. So, yeah. Ooh. Can we put a clip of the cabbage that we got the first year as a comparison? <laughs> well, that shows that experience does make a difference. And yeah, that is quite a difference, I think. Oh, this is heavy. That is just one, no, actually, okay, two rows, like one piece, so that is two rows of Cabbages. That would be enough, I think. That is definitely enough, honestly. <laughs> um, but okay, it's okay. The rest of the heads are quite small. Those would be perfect for us for like eating. Those are, as we said, Megatrons and they're good for uh, sour cabbage. Okay, well, let's keep going and hope the sun stays a bit so we can still film nicely. And if you remember that we did get those Megatron cabbages from our neighbors and you could call us cheating because they pre-grow them for us, these ones are our cabbages and they are gorgeous as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Not last year, but I think one of the first years we would harvest and keep this one as our best cabbage. This year, I can give it to my goats because I have way too big ones, bigger ones. Oh god, hop it! <laughs> Beautiful. I got cry like from happiness of how good we did this year. I think it's like visually how good we did and that we could feed a small village <laughs> with so many pumpkins. Like we have a lot of pumpkins and like okay pumpkins. I mean also cabbages they also stay so self-sufficient living here we come this year definitely we have loads of potatoes as you have seen the potato harvest video if you haven't link down below then we have cabbage we have eggs we have pumpkins what else do we need worst case scenario if you really want meat we also have goats <laughs> and uh, we're actually gonna be getting roosters well our roosters in another form back so pretty good this year we're doing and um, before we move on to the beetroots I quickly want to say about the cabbages, we pretty much with the whole garden, I also mentioned it when we did the garden tour, is that we put pretty much no effort, let's say at all. The cabbages, the cabbage place, I only unweeded once or twice for like 10 minutes because there was barely any weeds because we had the mulch biggest bonus of the year was the mulch we had watered none of the garden and we did not cover any of the garden in plastic tarp or tarps or fly proof and uh, butterfly because they have uh, we had the butterfly worms and um, they did do a bit of damage here and there but we did not really cover any of it nothing of it first time is actually going to be tonight that we're going to cover something of the garden because we have no time to harvest it because of the frost so i think we did pretty good for like very low effort to almost none of the effort 
pretty good. So let's now collect the beetroots and uh, see that amount. Oh god, that beet! Oh, that's a really weird beetroot. It's like another weird beetroot and another big beetroot. And that is kind of like the average size we have. Like some of them are pretty smaller, but mostly all of them. I mean, that's like a good size beetroot. Like that's what we considered last year. I think that was last year our biggest beetroot. And yeah, is, quite of a difference. It's quite of a difference. <laughs> Hope you can see it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we finished it looks a bit of a mess left behind because we are running out of daylight and it's getting cold so I think we're just gonna leave it as it is and give it tomorrow to goats and chickens I don't think they'll care if it freezes a bit pretty beautiful beetroot so as I said that is like the majority of this size that we have it's like 50 50 of big ones and medium ones Barely any small ones. This year I'm gonna keep no small ones. I already put them aside for the goats. So I'm really happy. Fun fact, the goats don't like the root itself. They eat the leaves. And that with every root uh, vegetable. They'll eat it worst case. Actually, David reminded me that we have to collect the um, zucchinis. Oops. Some of them did freeze, but most of them, this one for example, is fine. And I anyways wanted to freeze some, so the ones that got a bit of frosty, like this one, we're either gonna eat tomorrow, or we're just gonna cut it and freeze it. Or we just give it to the animals. Keep them for as long as we can, and if we see, that they are slightly getting bad. I'm just gonna give them to animals. a lot. Like, a lot is an understatement. <laughs> what are we feeding? Who are we feeding? Well, in case the world ends, we are eating pumpkins. And eggs and cabbages and potatoes. And this year we did not forget our compost pumpkins. Self-planted. Self-planted, we did not plant any of them. And just can we like, like can we take a moment? It is pink. Pink and green. <gasps> pink, white, green. This one was a mistake, was not supposed to happen. I did that, because <laughs> it just snapped off. It is like... What is up with the pumpkins? Like, we have like the most perfect variety of pumpkins. Yeah. Like, usually we have just these ones. But like, oh, beautiful. Okay, let's bring them in. We had to move to our other extension of the house. Ah, can we put the cabbages? Gimme, give gimme. Give Let's put them up here. 
so they don't sit much on the floor. So since we packed our other entrance hall, house hall extension with pumpkins, this is gonna be the cabbage one and beetroot one. Yeah, that's a big horse and the field doesn't look as much. Like on the field, you underestimate, you underestimate how much it actually is. That is probably 50 kilos. We ended up meal of the day being cabbage. We With said, carrots. We said pumpkin soup, but it ended up being cabbage rice. Look at the size. And uh, David got some carrots. Wait, is that a twisty twisty girl again? Yeah, it, this together. No. This one, two twists. Yeah, we did not split them, but look at this carrot. Wee. That's a biggie. Beautiful. Thank you. From the field to the, the field. belly. From farm the table so once again i forgot to end this video we got way too much into cooking and then eating and then we were so tired that i completely forgot to end this video but i was so so happy with the great harvest we had this year and um, i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm gonna see you in the next one